talk all about the central idea, which is also known sometimes as the main idea or the main purpose. So many words that mean the same thing, but basically it's what the author wants us to know or what the story is mostly about. And we use this mostly when we're talking about nonfiction text, or at least that's what we're going to do today. Okay. So the central idea is what the author wants us to know, thinking about what the text is mostly about. Okay. This chant that I'm going to teach you will help you remember that and then remind you how to find the central idea. Okay. All you have to do is repeat after me. The words will be here and you just repeat after what I say. Sounds good. Here we go. I know the central idea, do you? I know the central idea, do you? Let's look around for a clue. Let's look around for a clue. What does the author want me to know? What does the author want me to know? Next the evidence we will show. Next the evidence we will show. Finish up with details that support. Finish up with details that support. The central idea will report. The central idea will report. Oh my goodness, you did such a phenomenal job. I'm so proud of you. All right, let's do it one more time. Do you think you got it in you? All right, let's go. Ready, set, go. I know the central idea, do you? I know the central idea, do you? Let's look around for a clue. Let's look around for a clue. What does the author want me to know? What does the author want me to know? Next the evidence we will show. Next the evidence we will show. Finish up with details that support. Finish up with details that support. The central idea will report. The central idea will report. Okay, now we're gonna take what we learned about central idea and we're going to practice it. So I'm gonna show you a very short little informational story about washing your hands. It's called hand washing. And then we're gonna see if we can find the central idea in supporting details, just like our chant said. Are you ready? Okay, hand washing. It is important to wash your hands. Washing your hands is the best way to stop germs from spreading. To wash your hands properly, properly you must use soap and water. Washing your hands properly can prevent sickness. You can make washing your hands fun by singing a song while scrubbing. Okay, so whenever I'm looking for the central idea, I'm thinking, what does the author want me to know? What is this whole thing mostly about, okay? What my very first thing that I do is look at the first sentence and see if that will give me a clue. Here, the first sentence is, it is important to wash your hands. Now, when I think about all the things I read, like, um, it stops germs from spreading. You need to use soap and water. It can help you not get sick. Um, you can even have fun by singing a song. All of those things kind of go with, it's important to wash your hands because we don't want germs to spread and we don't want to get sick, right? So my central idea, I can pull it straight, straight from that first sentence. Now that's not always the case, but it is here. So my central idea, the author wants me to know that it is important to wash my hands. That's their main purpose of writing this text, okay? Our chant said that we will show text evidence. We will find details that support that, that kind of hold that up, okay? So now I have to go hunting. I'm going and looking through my text to see, can I find supporting details? So I read through. Say I said it's about washing my hands is important. So it said that stopping germs, that's the best way to stop germs. That's a supporting detail that tells me it's important because I don't want to um, spread germs. So my central idea is washing your hands is important. One of my details is it helps to stop the spread of germs. Okay, so now let's keep looking to wash your hands properly because it's important. We must use soap and water. So there's another detail. So I have a detail that says that it helps stop the spread of germs, that it's important to use soap and water. And then I have another sentence that says, washing your hands properly can prevent sickness. Well, yeah, that supports that, that central idea because it's important for me to wash my hands so that I don't get sick and I don't get other people sick. Okay, so let's read, let's look at that again. Our central idea is, it's mostly about the author really wanted me to know that it's important to wash my hands. And then they gave me some evidence, they gave me some reasons that helped support that and lift that up, okay? Some of those details were that it helps stop the spread of germs, 
that washing your hands properly involves soap and water and that washing your hands can prevent sickness. Those three details really support my central idea that washing hands is important.